Hello and welcome in Teach Max videos. So let us move to the design of built up columns. So already in previous lecture we discussed how to design the column, columns which are subjected to axial compression and by using I section and I with cover plate, compound sections, right? Now here we are going to focus particularly on the laced column in this lecture means the columns which are definitely two channels are face to face or back to back by that we are going to connect by using single lacing system or double lacing system right as well as we can go with batten column means batten battens are provided so if the plates which are <coughs> uh, flats not plates flats or rods or bars which are provided having some inclination which are connected two channels we say it is lacing system and if <coughs> of course that flats are provided at regular horizontal spacing uh, they are placed horizontally but at regular spacing we say it is batten column so already i have solved one example in previous uh, <coughs> lecture in ppt okay so now where we design two channels are back to back placed and by lacing system and bolted connection but in this example i am taking another case see another possibility question asked like this way also the span of the column is given 8 meter factored axial compression is given 1800 kilonewton end condition both ends are hinge it means the translation and rotation is translation is restrained at both end but rotation is free at both ends so this is the condition given <coughs> Design the column by using two channels face to face by lacing system with welded connection. So there we design bolted connection. Here we are going to design welded connection. There we place two channels back to back. It is mentioned in the given example. Here it is mentioned design column by using two channel face to face. So this is the difference. So let us see the design. So in just like previous here also we are going to divide it, this into two types. Okay. Uh, two parts actually design example one is the design of main channels and its spacing and second we will go with the design of lacing system okay so let us solve this example so this type of example asked for 15 to 17 marks in exam okay so very simple a part or they can split into two parts for five to six marks only design of main column ask main two channels back to back with spacing or spacing and channels are also given and they can ask to design the lacing system for five to six marks. So question might be asked for five to six marks any one part of out of these two or they can ask for total example for 15 to 17 marks. So let us solve this. Okay. So a part as I said we are going to design first column by using two channels back to back uh, face to face with lacing okay so here focusing on first part a part so first step here that we are going to do that is exactly selection of section so here also we need to select the section two channels back to back right so selection of section so here we will use the formula that to find out area so it is p by fcd so p factored actual compression given so no need to multiply by 1.5 so 1800 divided by fcd so fcd we can assume see how to assume fcd as i said earlier that for <coughs> single angle strut total length uh, sorry fcd for single angle as well as double angle strut we take total length uh, no, no, not length. We are discussing about FCD. So FCD we take, uh, we assume FCD in between, yes, 60 to 120 MPa. So this is the range of FCD for angle struts, okay, if they are used in the trusses. And for columns, moderate columns, in previous lecture we discussed that, that there we assume FCD in between 120 to 180. Same FCD you can assume for built up columns also in between 120 to 180. So here let us take 150 average of these two. Okay, so take it 150 and solve this automatically 
you will your design may be safe so 1800 into 1000 divided by 150 so area required 12000 so required area is 12000 mm square means 120 cm square okay so using steel table you can select the section okay so as i said earlier that you can assume uh, use the properties from steel table <coughs> single angle channel properties or you can go with two channels properties which are available from page number 91 but here two channels are face to face so you need to use properties of single channel only okay double channels are placed back to back then and then only we prefer that properties which are available from page number 91 but here two channels are face to face so go with the regular properties okay so <clears throat> of single channel so here now see how to assume fcd uh, sorry how to select the section so required area is 120 cm square so more one, half of 120 60 so for single channel the area required is 60 cm square so for 60 right yes for 60 cm square more than 60 cm square the section is available that is I